quick video to talk about this latest knife of mine. This is a liner lock folder. Now it's got uh, dovetail bolsters with a curved line to them. Um, a hidden pivot under the bolsters. The bolsters are W's, end grain W's Damascus. Book matched. Titanium liners. The G10 backspacer. Um, scales of natural African blackwood with a satin finish. It all comes apart with a couple sizes of Torx drivers. It's still a little bit, little bit tight. I like to leave them a little tight from the factory, so to speak. And it just opens like that with a thumb over the uh, end of the jimping here for an opener. Works pretty good. You can see the lock here is engaged about halfway up the tang. And the tang has got a little bit of a hollow cut into it. For the lock face so that the angle actually increases slightly with over travel. The um, lock side scale and bolster are relieved for the lock bar to travel into and here we've got jimping for a nice surface, nice grip on that with the thumb. And this baby is rock solid. No play forward or back anyway. Smooth, closes nice, good detent action. Watch it click over. Yeah, pulls it right in there, nice and centered, just like we like. Lock faces, not etched. Again, a thumb onto the end of this right here. Pry a little bit and click. And Bob's your uncle. Now the blade is um, jelly roll, but in my own modification, which I call rose rolls, which is basically laddering a bar first, a very coarse bar, to give it squiggle and then rolling it up. So that's a tiled out mosaic pattern. It's three tiles for this little blade. Now this knife is seven and a half inches long, open like this, with a cutting edge of three and three eighths. Um, the blade is one eighth of an inch. It's actually 0.125 inch, um, and the weight is 3.65 ounces, so pretty light for, you know, a non-super thin tactical type knife. This is a little bit more traditional dressy, but like I say, for its bulk, it's quite light with that titanium and stuff. And, uh, anyway, that's about all I got to say about her. And, uh... Thanks for looking. Stay tuned for the next one.